Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. So we'll get into today's session. It's going to be a, a great session uh, like, like they all are. Today, we want to talk about correct action. We want to talk about correct action. So for, for me, taking action is something that I, I enjoy more than, than not taking action. However, uh, a big truth is this, is that if you, if you take action in the wrong direction, you just get lost faster. Take action in the wrong direction, you just get lost faster. Now, some people use that as a way to take no action. But here's what I want to say to everybody who, who goes, yeah, that's why I wait. Waiting is still an action. There's no such thing as not action. Even pausing is an action because action is really our movement through time. As time keeps moving forward, we're acting in every moment. Does that make sense? In every, act, in every moment, we're acting. And whether they're acting is to, 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 to not take a, a movement towards something, and say it's still an action. And so uh, I really want you to get that is, is, is not, not doing, uh, not acting towards what you think you, you could be doing is still an action. It, 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 is, it is very, very important to get that because sometimes that action gets you lost faster because if you just went and tried something, you would find out whether or not it was right. Okay. So I want you to really hear this and feel this. There's no such thing as, as not taking an action. Okay. There's always action. The fastest way to get lost is to take action the wrong direction, okay? So no such thing as, as non-action. Very important. Just sit with that for a second and, and just really get it. If you, if you put something off, that is an action, okay? Because you still got to do something else. Now, uh, write this down. Behavior, which is action, is the highest form of information, Karen's asked a good question, and she said, is it really such a thing as a wrong direction? Yes. Yes, if you're wanting to create this and you go that way, it's, wrong. it's, it's the wrong way. Behavior is the highest, highest form of communication. Now, what does, what does a behavior is the highest form of communication? A behavior is the highest highest form of information mean? Well, here's what it means. It means that you can think something, you can say something, you can wish something, you can dream something, but your action determine, your action shows us the true structure you're living in, okay? Action shows the true structure, see? If the, if the water that's going down the floodway it doesn't move a certain way, it shows us the structure, okay? The movement of the water, the movement of the current, the current of the electricity. Now, wasn't, isn't this interesting? We, we talk about the current of electricity and the current of a, of, you know, of a river. What we don't seem to realize is that we also use the word current reality. You see, it's still a current. And wherever that current is flowing to or not shows the structure, okay? For, for us, our current, our flow is shown by our behavior, which is either action or inaction. Does that make sense? That's why we call it the current reality, because we're in a current, we're an energy structure moving. So behavior is your highest form of information, not just with yourself, but with everyone that you, you engage with as well, is that the way that they act, the action or inaction shows truly uh, what resistance is there, okay? So many people ask me, well, Chris, how do I know if the recode works? The re you know that the recodes worked because the structure has shifted. How do you know the structure has shifted? There's a different action that is able to be taken. Does that make sense, everyone? The action, what you're able to do, what you're able to go and, and be able to acknowledge and have and, and create in your life, it's the action. See, when I worked with people and you know that they can't speak confidently on stage, there was a block and now they can. 
or the action that they couldn't save money. Now they can. They, they couldn't do a video. Now they can. You see, that's how you know the recode worked. You know, nothing else, you know, nothing else matters. It, that, that's how you know is that information is the highest and everyone in, in the certification knows that I'm a standing up person. And if I sit down and keep saying, well, I'm, I'm a standing up person and you, you, you pray and you meditate, and you close your eyes and you visualize yourself as a stand up person, you're gonna stand up, but you keep sitting down. You're telling your unconscious that you're not that, you see, that you're not it, okay? It's not until you actually stand up and actually take the action that, that your brain knows you're all in. And that's that's it. So, so there's no such thing as inaction, and your action or your behavior is the highest form of that information. So you always want to take account at what it is you actually do. Does that make sense? What you actually do. So if you look over the last week, the last month, the last year, whatever it is, whatever it is you actually do, that's going to show what what your structure you're in, and where the resistance is. That's quite great, isn't it? It's quite great to know that. You can just look at what you're actually doing and the, you've got to ask yourself, am I flowing? Am I moving towards what I'm not or, or am I not? You see, am I stuck? Am I also the behavior in yourself and anyone you coach? That's the that's really it. It doesn't matter what they say. It, you, you can see it in the behavior. You can see it in the action. So there's, there's a few different types of action. There's a few different types of action. And uh, in, in 2022, the way that this is described through alchemy is uh, quite controversial. <laughs> and so I want everyone to acknowledge that every single one of us has a masculine essence and every single one of us uh, has a feminine uh, essence. Okay, we've all got masculine, we've all got feminine, and they're, they're actually describing aspects of creating, aspects of creating. In order for any uh, being to exist, there needs to be a masculine and a feminine to come together to create. So and that and there's an action of creation so it's actually describing creation so so a type of action can be a masculine action and this is what most of us uh perceive as action a masculine action is obviously the the going for it the moving the the planting of the seed the the the, the going you see that's out there it's dynamic the feminine action, which we all have, this isn't male and female, this is masculine, feminine, it's aspects of creating. The feminine is the receiving, it's the nurturing, it's the growing. You see that? So if you want to grow a forest, you, you must plant the seed, then the, the soil is going to nurture it, you're going to make sure that you, you water it and everything else. So there's a masculine type of action, there's a feminine type of action, okay? Then there's also an internal action which is a unconscious action. This is where miracle healings happen. Uh, you know, the, the placebo, these sort of things, an internal action. So three different types of action that we can, we can realize. There's a masculine action, there's a feminine action, and then there's an unconscious uh, internal action, okay? And if the action isn't uh, moving, the, the manifest manifestation won't happen, okay? So action shows the structure. If you were to walk yourself through a supermarket, okay, the structure of how they've set up the aisles determines the act, determines where you can go. If you're a, a drop of water flowing down a, a, a hill uh, where the boulders are or the trees are or, or where it's easier to flow, it will show your action, okay? We don't need to know what the structure is. We can just see the action that's taking place. Okay, the action. And so earlier this week, I posted a video and this video has created controversy and I've had to block more people off my YouTube than any other video. And the video was how to get rich fast. And then in the first part of the video, I say, well, fast, if for you fast is 10 years, then, then I'll show you how to get rich fast. And, and the idea was this, is that if you can find a way to make an extra $10,000 a month, and invested in uh, in a decent rate of return of between, I think I just used 10%, then within five or 10 years, you're gonna be completely financially free. And boy, did people get annoyed at me. How dare you say that I could make an extra $10,000 a month? Uh, I don't even have $100 left. And this is bloody impossible. What a silly idea this is. Uh, and someone said to me, Chris, 10% rate of return, you would be, they said, you would be the best ever money manager on the planet to get 10%. And so I systematically let them explain that, you know, the S&P 500 has done 10.5% for the last 60 years, you know, 
stock exchange even through all the dips has done you know just under nine uh, property here in Australia about thirteen percent in just the last decade and, and about eight or nine percent over time so it, it was like and then if they didn't realize that fifty percent of all businesses fifty percent of all businesses make over two hundred thousand dollars this is crazy and, and that and, and two hundred thousand dollars is is two hundred grand a month that's half of all businesses make that you know there's all these sayings out there you know most businesses fail, blah, 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 all these things. Well, the, the truth is, is, yes, a lot of businesses close down. That's mainly because the entrepreneur changes to a new business. Uh, in, in the United States right now, there is 31 million businesses. Out of 31 million businesses, 16 million don't make over 100 grand. Okay, guess what that means? The other 15 million do. What's 100 grand? You know, about 10,000 a month, just under. So, so it wasn't even a big deal, but, but here's what was interesting is that the structure that, that all of this was in didn't even allow them to see that that could even be possible for them. And then the only action that they could take would be was to try to tell me how stupid this really simple thing was. Like that was a really simple premise. Does that make sense? And, and here's what I really want to pass on to every single one of you is that that behavior is not wrong. And, uh, and you can't judge the behavior. The behavior is that they are uh, that what's being explained is so outside of a structure that they're in that it, you know they can't even they, they, it, that's unimaginable that that's possible and, and so what you want to truly understand is that everything and anything you want to create is there if you're not able to flow to it it's not you it's not you if you're not able to flow to it and have it and receive it it's not you it's the structure you're in. As I shared last week, if a current of, of, of water and you want it to go this way and it's not going this way, you don't tell the water off. You're not like you bad stream, you should go over here. No, you don't, you change the structure so it flows. But, but what we do is we tell off ourselves and we say, why aren't you over there? instead of realizing it's how we've structured ourselves. So, so it's very important to realize that that action is, is super crucial. So whenever we're creating, the first and most important thing is our desired reality, what it is that we want to uh, to move towards, okay? Can you guys, you guys can see that, yeah. So this is one point of information. The second point of information is our current reality. Okay, the third point of information is the action. And this is determined by the structure that we're in. Does that make sense? It's determined by the structure. You're not broken. You're not broken at all. You just put yourself in a correct structure and you'll be able to, to flow to, to where you wanna go. So it's important that you get in the right structure. So what is the right structure? Well, the right structure is focusing on what it is you want to create, noticing where you are now, and then taking the correct action. In alchemy, this is known as the vision, the truth, and the bridge. The vision of what you want to create, the truth of where you are now, and then the bridge that takes you there. And remember, if you look at a, what a, how a bridge looks, at the bottom of every rainbow is the pot of gold. So there's the bridge. And we, we must understand that there's these, these three points always. And every creation, there's three points. I'd just like you to consider your one of your creations right now. And, and as you imagine, it, actually, let's all, let's all pick a creation to work with. So let, let's pick one that we're going to work with today. So everyone type in a number one when you've chosen the one we're going to work with from your choices list today. And if you're brand new and you don't have choices yet, that's okay. There are four core choices you can work with, okay? They are, uh, I choose uh, a life I love. Uh, I choose health and vitality. I choose uh, to be the predominant creative force in my life. And I choose to be, to live my true nature and purpose. And thank you so much, Miles, for typing them in. So if, if you don't have one, you could always uh, use those four. And in fact, um, those four are the most important. I'll just wait till, um, 
so I get enough ones that I know people are engaged. So if you if you a person doesn't, yeah, there you go. Tell me when you've done it. I just want to know that I'm not going too fast. D Rock, I just want you to pick one, just one choice, bro. Just one choice. We'll work with one choice. You can um, you can re-watch this session, you can use another choice. Okay. Going back to the manual whiteboard, back in time. It's actually really, really nice. Those of you who weren't on at the beginning, we're getting new internet installed at our office. So I'm here and I've been gifted uh, Mia and Alexi's uh, spare office at their place, which is really nice. Really nice that they did that and I'm here at their place, which is fun. So that's pretty cool. So you, you've, all, you've all made your choice, okay? So, so you, you're gonna make your choice. And I just want you to imagine that that choice is out there in the future and it and it's it's there and it's available and it already exists it exists like a moment in your future like later today when you're going to uh have dinner okay it exists it exists the same it's it's exactly the same as you having dinner later today or maybe it's evening for you because you live on the other side of the world it exists like you're going to bed or waking up or whatever it, it exists it's there and then just imagine that that end result is out there, okay? And as you imagine that end result is out there, now bring yourself back to this current reality to right now and just visualize the best you can that there's like a, a bungee cord wrapped around your backside or an elastic band, a big one, like really strong one. And it is, it is wrapped around behind you and it is wrapped around this thing that you're creating. And just imagine that. And then I want you to imagine that the tension of that elastic band is just urging you forward and pulling you forward toward it. Like the, the future point is the fixed fulcrum and it is not moving. Like it is locked in in the future and you, you are the thing that's going to get pulled there. Just, just close your eyes, just visualize that future point and you getting pulled there. And just spend a second or two in that. Just imagine that flow. Okay, good. Come back to the session. Tell me, that, how does it feel when you imagine the future created and pulling you there? What does that feel like? Awesome to read the chat box. So when you're creating, it's about deciding and locking in that future point and making the current reality the movable, volatile uh, point. So there's a saying in alchemy which is make the fixed volatile and the volatile fixed, okay? Basically, you know, moving one to a higher vibration. A mistake a lot of us make is we think that the current is fixed and there's this movable thing out there. Does that make sense? What we must do is learn to lock in the future and hold that and make the current the volatile moving river to get to that end point. Does that make sense, everyone? That's the shift. The shift is that that is what's going to happen and this is going to be the thing that moves. And you know what it looks like to me? Have you guys seen uh, those, those, those amazing, uh, you know, like uh, uh, they're doing... Um, that they have like a like a tube on the back of a, a speedboat and the kids are like sitting on a little blow up inflatable thing. You guys seen this? And, and the boat's the one carting the uh, charting the course and, and the kids are all like this around the back. Right. But, you know, where that where it's going to end up. That's how my current reality feels to me. 
there's a fixed point out there and I'm getting to it. You see that? That's how it feels. It feels like I'm here and there's this reality out there and I'm going to get there, you see? And, and I want you to imagine that, but it's almost like as it's happening, it's getting pulled in. And that's how, that's how it looks. You lock in where the end point's going to be. That's the strength and your current reality moves. So what is the most important thing for you to do to be able to, to ensure that you orient this way? See, most people still orient that the current reality is the fixed point. But see, the, the, the only constant is that the current reality is always going to move. You see that we, we think it's constant, but you're not the same person you were yesterday. This is constantly moving. Write this down. Every current reality is an earlier version of your desired reality. Every current reality is just an earlier version of the desired reality. That's, that's all it is. It's just an earlier version of it. You see that? It's just, it's slowly taking shape. That's all it is. We have a, 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 about three different places uh, on our street where they've knocked down houses throughout the, uh, the, the global pandemic situation. The Australian government decided to hand out a huge amount of money to people who wanted to rebuild houses. It was a really nice idea, but in our, in our neighborhood, there's lots of people who decided to take that extra money, knock down houses and rebuild. And it's, it's really cool to watch, uh, watch it go first. You know, they put the fence around the house. And the first thing that happens, they put this, you know, they put this new sort of fence and they say, you know, so-and-so company, uh, you know, who, who are going to knock down company and rebuild. And so first you see an old house. And this old house is a earlier version of this brand new amazing house. And then the next version is that same old house, but it's basically rubble. You see, and that's the next earlier version of this amazing new mansion. And then the next house is the rubble gone and it stays, it just stays as dirt and sand. And typically the, the removalists or the people that knock down the house aren't the same as build it up. So for a while, the current reality just stays this piece of dirt. And, you know, you look through and on the other side is the water uh, waterway and it's just a piece of dirt. And then all of a sudden, that piece of dirt starts to look really bad, you know, like, stuff blow it like just doesn't look good and then the next thing is you see oh now there's a concrete slab and now there's this and now there's that and if you don't drive down that part of the street for a while all of a sudden you drive down and it's this brand new mansion you see and, and what what we don't realize is a lot of times when we're creating the new mansion the first thing that we had to do was rip the old one apart because there was no space for the new house you see, but everyone gets annoyed when they go, but I had this little house, you know, bought, that was built in the 70s. And now I have no house. I had house, not one I wanted. Now I have no house. I'm a bad creator. Now realizing that that's a part of, of creating. See, and we see this all the time. Chris, I started this work. I had a marriage. Now I have no marriage. This doesn't work. Well, was that the marriage you wanted? No, it definitely wasn't the one I wanted, but at least it was better than being single. No, it wasn't. You needed space. Chris, I'm here now. So, so what we must understand is that when we hold the future fixed, the current reality becomes volatile. You see? You don't change this point. It's, it, it's our limited conscious perspective that continually tries to, to go, well, this is worse than it used to be. This is worse than it used to be. Instead of your brain going, there was no way to put a mansion on top of that old brick shit house. <laughs> Does that make sense? There was no way to do it. I'm sorry. Conscious is going, there was no way. We had to rip this one out. Does that make sense? And so as we're creating, there's only really three things. There's that which is fixed in the future. There's the current reality. The current reality is moving every single day. It is shifting. It is the it is tailing behind the boat. It is shifting. It is shifting. It is it is every day. It is it is taking shape. It is taking form. Sometimes you hit a big wave and it doesn't look like it's taking form. Sometimes you've ripped the house apart and nothing's happening. Sometimes it's waiting for the right people to show up to rebuild the house but it's all moving. It's all moving. So you hold that end focus and you, you do not let it, that's the creation. And then every day you acknowledge the current. 
you acknowledge the current, you acknowledge the current, and the current reality keeps on shifting and shifting and shifting and shifting and shifting, and then you're there, and then you're there, and then you become it. And then the current reality becomes exactly what you desired, you enjoy it, you celebrate, and then you get creating whatever you want to do next. How's that? So we're going to do the wisdom process today. This is my favorite process. Where's all my uh, mastery and creators with Hannah? This is my favorite process. Hannah's, Hannah's favorite process is the one she's doing that day, isn't it? This is my favorite process. And, and it's my favorite process because by doing this, the future you, the, the one that already has the creation, instructs the current reality, the next obvious thing to do. Okay. So the, the way that we do this is we first go into the completed end result and examine everything that's there. Okay. So that's step one. We go in and we experience the future is done. Once, we, once we're truly there, we then look back to where we are now and we ask the question, what did I do next to get here? So what, what most people do is they don't understand this. So you first go into the desired reality and then you look back and you get the action. Most stay here in the, the current reality and look forward for the action you see that and this you can't see that <laughs> i'm like can you see that and then i looked at the screen i was like no absolutely no one can see that <laughs> can't you see what i'm saying <laughs> that's brilliant all right so what what we want to do is go into the desired reality and then look back to get the action. What most people do is stay in the current reality and try to go forward with the action. And where your starting point is, okay, where your starting point is determines which part is fixed. Your starting point determines which point is fixed if you start with what you have now and try to create action forward this is the fixed point you're changing if you go into the completed result and look back to get the action this is the fixed point you see helen says what if i can't see what i did next there's only two options, which is either you go, this is what needs to happen next, or you don't know what to do next. And if you don't know what to do next, you need to find someone to tell you what to do next. And so what's interesting is when we do this process, you must see the obvious. Most of us, if we say we don't know what to do next, we are outside of the obvious. Okay, it's always obvious what to do next, but our, uh, our resistance doesn't let us see it. So for example, these amazing people on YouTube, who I don't think is anyone on this call because I already removed and blocked a lot of them, they were not able to see how obvious it was they needed to start a business. And it was obvious they wouldn't let themselves see it. Their only thing they could do is get annoyed at someone for even suggesting that they had that sort of capability. So let's do this process. I'm going to guide you through it. You've already got your choice you want to work on. So first step is we want to make the desired reality the fixed point. So when you're ready, um, we're going to, to close our eyes and we're going to create this in the invisible which is actually the 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 birthplace of everything you see if you hold up a seed 
The seed has an invisible instruction of a forest. But you can't see that. It's really, it's really fascinating. Uh, if you ever want to truly, uh, you know, re really experience the, the wisdom of the universe, you know, and you're going on a walk and you see, you see an acorn there or you see a seed of something, hold it. And know as you're holding that, there is an invisible instruction for a forest. But you can't see it. See, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that something? It's like that's it, it's all there. Everything starts in the invisible. This isn't so this isn't like some woo-woo idea. This is just how everything is. There is nothing that we we have that wasn't first conceived in the invisible. Nothing from this computer I'm talking on to this whiteboard to, to cars, everything is first imagined. You must understand this is not. Uh, this is invention at its finest, isn't it? Hey, Chris here again. I hope you really enjoyed that session. Obviously, it was streamed live to our Magnet Mind Masterclass uh, coaching program. If you'd like to be involved in that program, please do reach out. Uh, we do have spaces you can uh, apply for and you can join. So do let us know if it's something for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe, like, and share this content so we can reach millions of people just like you and help them become conscious creators. Have a great day. Stay super conscious.